We're back for episode two, Dirty Side Gets Down on the M3 Resurrection here. If you didn't see the last episode, this is my 1995 BMW M3. I've owned it for about 16 years. 13 of those years it didn't run. In the last episode, we got it to fire up. In this episode, I wanna drive this thing. Dirty side gets down. You'll pay for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Pretty excited to get this going. Another thing that would get me excited is if you can subscribe. I see most of you guys watching aren't subscribed, and how are you gonna know when another episode comes out if you're not subscribed? So this is where we left off. It's still pretty bare. Everything's hooked up to make it run, but nothing else it needs to drive. If you saw the Xterra video and you saw us pulling this into the shop, then you saw us keep airing up one of the tires. Three of them hold air and one doesn't. So I got a tire for that. Just to make it a roller, we're not going to drive on these old tires, so we're going to get that thrown on in this episode. So we're going to start with hooking up heater hoses and things that are buried up under the intake and things like that. We've got to dig out the wiring that goes to the transmission and the oxygen sensor. They're up in there somewhere and need to go back. So let's get moving. I picked up some pulleys because these here were a little crunchy. Hopefully you can hear that. This one, not as bad, but pretty bad. Our alternator sounded pretty much the same as that, so... Here we got a new alternator belt, new alternator, two new pulleys. You know parts stores, we gotta wait on the other belt because they didn't have it. But luckily that's the AC belt, it goes on the front. Alternator and power steering belt goes here and AC goes here. So we can go ahead and mount the alternator, get the belt routed, get a lot of things done, and we can put that AC belt on last. So I picked up this tire on Marketplace, had it mounted. Basically a brand new tire for 40 bucks. Uh, it's only going to be on there long enough to get this thing roadworthy and then it's getting four new tires that all match anyway. I just didn't want to go spending $1,200 on tires for a car I haven't, I don't even know if it's drivable. Who knows what all things we're gonna find that went bad as we start trying to drive this car. So anyway, let's get some part swap. quick I just want to jump in here you just hit that little subscribe button down there it means a whole lot on a small channel like this it doesn't cost you anything for just your subscribe button click a day you can support these starving projects and in reality I'm not getting any money from YouTube yet anyway but we need those to get there so like subscribe share all that good stuff also don't hesitate to throw down in the comments if you want to see something done a little differently or a little better a little worse whatever floats your boat all right back to the project I've gotten about as far as we can go on the engine waiting on some parts and some little things I got time waiting on parts this isn't going to get in our way too much we're finally going to figure out how to get that pile mounted up on here I took this part over 10 years ago I hope I can remember how it goes back we're going to plug along and I probably end up putting things on a couple times taking it back off because something else goes on before it but we're going to figure that out so let's do it And is it cool to see that front end on there after all these years? Might be a little premature, but I think we can work around it for the rest of this. And at some point it's all coming off anyway. This car really kind of needs a paint job. The bumper's still a little messed up from the minor front end crash it had. And then this has washer holes in it. I really couldn't care less about washer holes. So I may take it off, fill those in, repaint it. May just get a new one if it's cheap enough, we'll see. We did get some parts in. 
So now we got the alternator on, belt on. This thing's getting real close to drive. We're gonna tackle that clutch now because it wasn't working. I'm sure that master and slave cylinder are pretty much junk after all these years. So luckily they're cheap enough. We'll get those swapped out. And then I think it's time for a test drive. I'm not sure where to start. This is a video I didn't think I'd be making. Or at least a scene for this video I didn't think I'd be making. Pretty catastrophic news yesterday. Uh, doing a little behind the scenes, just a heat cycle on the engine, getting all the air bubbles out of the coolant system. Everything was great and running super smooth, no smoke, nothing leaking. The cooling system was working great. The next thing I was going to record was this car driving out of the shop. So I shut it off and was about to get it off the lift, get everything situated. For some reason I decided to start it one more time. And somehow it bent a bunch of valves. <laughs> I, it's basically the same thing that happened to the last engine. Neither of these engines share any parts other than the, the ECU, the wiring harness, and the intake manifold. Other than that, all the timing parts are separate. I dug into it a little bit just now. So far, everything looks pretty good. The timing chains are nice and tight. I talked to someone that mentioned the intake cam gear bolts maybe backed out. Check those, they're nice and tight. Kind of at a loss now. I think if I, if I pull this cylinder head and replace all the bent valves, what's to stop it from happening again? Now what's going on here that I don't understand? I've had my hands really deep in a lot of engines. I've never put an engine together that bent valves. I've never done timing belt on an engine where it bent valves afterwards. One problem I have now is I was expecting this thing to move under its own power and I had some other things I needed to do. I really can't have this thing taken up this spot. I'm not sure how I'm going to proceed from here. I guarantee I will bring you along for the ride, whatever it is. I have a feeling this is going to go into storage for a little bit until I get some other things done and then get it back in here. And I'm going to fix this car, I promise. So that's going to do it for this episode. Hope to see y'all again for the next one.